Hi everyone, today I'm doing a video on uh, the Tookie Toys wooden jigsaw puzzles and um, uh, I have them in four different uh, patterns or pictures and uh, I'll just uh, show you how they are. So I have all of these packed up in a, ba in a box and um, I usually pull them out for my four year old to play with and all of these are really nice sized proper wooden puzzles so they are uh, the corners can be a little rough if you like scrape on it you might get a scratch but they're not tricky otherwise and they are pretty smooth and uh, good enough to be used by a three and a half year old or maybe a four year old and um, the pieces are nice and vibrant and these are not stickers that are glued on top of the wooden pieces but these are actually painted on the wood so these are nice and glossy and again the corners are rounded so they're not pointy and uh, the edges are pretty uh, smooth and even so it's not going to hurt you know there are um, you won't have any fibers or things breaking out to you know uh, cut skin so i think that's a really good thing about these puzzles and they are like pretty lightweight these are not heavy at all and the pictures are like pretty amazing to uh, uh, play with because they are really very uh, interesting and uh, i also got this board from Toki toys this was sold separately not along with the puzzles but um, it helps you you know have a space to uh, make your puzzle on because otherwise what happens is when you're placing it on the floor the pieces tend to keep shaking and they move and the puzzles fit perfectly inside this uh, board so it works out really well and uh, i had to purchase it separately but it has been completely worth it because apart from uh, using it as a base for the puzzles we also use it for various other things i'll make a video on that as well and uh, so the pieces all fit perfectly together you can notice some gaps in between them but uh, there are no pieces poking out or you know uh, the print is not half hazard in any way it's like seamless and perfectly aligned so no issues about that and uh, the board is about this thick and again it has all smooth rounded corners and at the back <laughs> my kiddo has stuck stickers but uh, it comes with these stands of sort that you can screw in and out so you can remove them and you don't want to use them uh, and this way you can use it either as a uh, display board for your puzzle or I usually just remove the screws and just put it on the floor or the table to play with because what happens is that since we tend to start with the top part and the top corners first the puzzle pieces would you know just slip and fall down because it's in an upright position so it makes more sense to put it on the floor lay down flat and then play so all in all this has been a really really good buy i'll try to see if i can find the links online because i actually purchased this of uh, a local store so i'll see if i can find the links and if i do find them i'll list them below and um, i'll just show you the other puzzle pieces so the next one is a um, farm puzzle and um, the first one that we did with the dinosaurs was the easiest of what I've purchased. This is slightly a little bit harder. Like my kiddo can do the dinosaur puzzle completely by himself without any help. But for this he needs help. As you know there are a lot more um, small pa parts and more greens and stuff like that. So it's not easy to just see the color and match them up. Again uh, the quality is the same. And um, they are all really, really well made. 
in fact i liked the quality of these buzzes better than uh you know the melissa and doug ones so these are like really that good and uh after this uh, the one that i have next is a bit more difficult than this one this one and um this is a bit more difficult because again most of the animals are of a similar color and the picture is not quite easy to uh, visualize while placing the uh, coins so it, he really needs help with this and we generally tend to sit and do it with him so that's not a problem but as you can see these puzzles i've done on the floor because obviously the dinosaur one is on the board and these can be done on the floor without the board just as well so no issues with that you can do it on the floor or any other flat surface like a table or maybe a writing desk or anything like that and the last uh, so these are one two three four five six seven eight so uh, these are 48 piece puzzles and uh, uh the dinosaur one the farm one and this one these are 48 pieces and i just got one that is i think a hundred and uh i think that's 108 pieces i am not sure i remember that yeah so uh these puzzle pieces are smaller in size compared to the 48 piece ones because even this fits exactly the same on the same base board so this doesn't need a bigger base board of sorts so the pieces are smaller in size so as you can see the size is like really so it's like almost half the size of these big square ones and uh, the quality is just the same no difference in the quality or stuff but the picture is more difficult to place and uh, because I threw away all the packaging before I uh, <laughs> before I realized that I threw it away uh, I don't have the pictures for him to see and then place the big uh, pieces accordingly so that is one of the reasons why, why we struggle so much with the difficult ones and I think I would probably you know like take a picture of each puzzle and then just print it out so that you know he has something as a reference of sorts to place the pieces i plan to do that soon so that's this is the toughest one and we don't do this together that often we prefer working on the other three as like he needs to be really older to do this i take a lot of time to finish this puzzle so uh, the back side of all the puzzles is the same just plain wood slightly matte finish kind of food it's not a very smooth texture but it's not rough either so after playing with all of the puzzles i just tend to pack them up in a ziploc bag and then store them in a container so i have it packed up in a small ziploc baggie like this so that you know the pieces don't mix up along with the other pieces and i have a container to store that in so I just use a nice wide container like this and so I have uh, three other ziplock baggies that uh, carry the other uh, puzzle pieces and they all fit inside this container really well and you can close it up and then just you know stack uh, this along with the other boxes inside the cupboard i also have another pack here that has the uh, simpler ones the simple puzzle ones so i'll just show you that so i just have that stored in a uh, face mask pouch sorts and these are the frank ones the simple beginner level ones so i keep these all together in one box so that uh, my kiddo can play with this when you know i'm not around to help him and then when i have a uh, free time to sit and play with him we can sit and do the other puzzle pieces so this helps in keeping everything safely contained in one container 
and it's also easily accessible and the pieces don't get lost stuff like that so this is from frank i have this in uh, quite a few you know different uh, categories like i have fruits and vegetables and animals and vehicles as well so i'll do a separate review on this uh, another time so thanks for watching so uh, thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful stay tuned to my channel and don't forget to click on like and subscribe bye bye